Welcome back to Editor's Roundtable, where we're asking the big question, why are global market observers still so bullish on India despite all the volatility globally? Uh, so let's look at a couple of uh, viewpoints, right? Jeffrey says that, greed, uh, that India is the best equity story in the world with a 10-year view. Morgan Stanley's Rhythm Desai yeah. says India yeah. continues yeah. to be in the midst of an earnings upcycle, while Goldman Sachs' uh, Sunil Call says that India remains one of the best compounding markets in the region. Now, the big play really is the demographic dividend in India. India is one of the most youngest populations in the world, right? Uh, in 2023, the median age in India was 28 years. In comparison, in 2023, the median age in China, for example, was 37 years. It was 45 in Western Europe and 49 in Japan. So a demographic dividend, of course, benefits a nation in a big way. But how long does it take? If you go back to China's demographic dividend that ended in the mid-2010s, uh, China took full advantage of this 9 to 10 percent annual growth rate for three decades. So are we at a mature stage of the demographic dividend play for India or not? Uh, where is young India really spending their money, right? You're seeing a surge in travel, tourism, airlines, delivery platforms, a surge in luxury cars, real estate market. Uh, hence, you're seeing a lot of these stocks, whether it's Interglobe Aviation, Indian Hotels, United Spirit, Zomato, all hit fresh record highs this week. Uh, stocks like M&M hit fresh record highs this week as well because SUVs have been doing very well. But the big question we're asking, when will India's demographic dividend peak and have we reached a mature stage? If you look at the recent statements from Dharmendra Pradhan, who is uh, India's Minister of Education, he said that the demo demographic dividend will peak in 2041 and the demographic dividend is expected to persist all the way till 2055. Uh, at, in 2041, the share of the working age population is expected to hit 59%, which is the age of 20 to 59 years. Now, Pankaj, I wanted your thoughts on this. You know, we were talking about...